Hello guys, Mr. Camzilla here, and today I'll be showing off my mock of Green Hill Zone. Now I can 100% assure you that Chemical Plant Zone was a lot more interesting than this mock, um, because I didn't really add any action features with this one, just because I wanted to keep it quite simple, um, just because I figured it's the main like stage, so why not just keep it really simple, so, I mean there's a spring here, but it doesn't obviously do anything, it's just connected by via stud, um, and I didn't put like a loop-de-loop -loop because I, I don't have the parts for that, but I, I feel like what I did here is, um, it gets a general, like it's a good scene, I feel like, like there's a nice the little flower here, um, that's used with one of these star pieces, um, I don't remember where those originally came in, but I got these from the LEGO Movie 2 sets, over here we have like a checkpoint type thing that I built. I mean, it doesn't spin or anything, but I mean, it's very simple. Again, I, I wanted this to be very, very simple because it's not like a, yeah. It's, it's a really nice on display, definitely. Um, the tree here, uh, at the back here, I'll show you the back. The back looks like garbage, like look at that. That's, there's gaps in the sides. It's obviously meant to be seen from the front, but the tree here, it's actually interesting. I've got it in a um, one of these one by one with the clips. If you can see that there, yeah, with one of the clips there, and I've just kind of angled that on a one by one uh, modified brick with a stud on the side, and I put that over. And so the, the the tree I have here is it's made using this blue piece. It's like this giant blue rod. And I've, I feel like they've come in some recent sets in different colors, but I believe the blue one came in a Spongebob set. I think it was a boating school set or something like that. Anyway, but it kind of bends in a way that gives this a nice tree shape, and I don't have, um, like, the a lot of, like, tree, like, the special tree pieces or whatever that's generally used for, like, palm trees, and they look really nice. I don't have any, so I had to improvise. And this is just used me um, using a bunch of these one by one round um, round pieces. So and that works quite well. And at the top here, there's just a bit of the blue left, and I've just attached these two um, palm fronds there. And and it angles perfectly too. If I put it on there, because I can angle it in whatever direction I want. If I can just yeah, there you go. You get a good look at that. It angles nicely to the side, like there's a bit of a breeze or something like that, but um, I mean it's not 100% realistic to the game, but I like how it looks, and I feel like it turned out quite well. Um, well this is going to be finicky, I'll just take that off for now. As you can see there's a very basic bridge that's just used, um, made using a bunch, a couple different techniques. That's a, I think that's a, oh yeah, both of these are 1x2s with the holes in the middle and then I've just put these um, they're like the little Technic pins that have the stud attachment to them and I just attach to this bridge and generally in the games the bridges hang down a bit and they have like the locks individually but I, I couldn't do the um, hanging down bit so I just did, li did it like that and it works quite well Sonic can just stand there or something like that or if you wanted him to run across you could put him on the edge there which still works well on display. Over here there's just a little 2x2 two two plate which I put a couple spikes on to represent the spikes from the game. Very simple detail but again it just adds to the little display. There's a bit of water detailing. I wanted to add that because Chemical Plant had the, the pink chemicals so I figured why not put some water with this one to just match a little. I've got some water under the bridge too. Um, as you can see here, with a lot of the like the grass, I've done alternating colors, which looks really nice. And I've put um, a couple hanging down bits in a bit of a pattern there, which just also adds to the effect, because um, that's how it kind of looks in the game. I mean, obviously on the top here, I just did the basic flat because then it would hang over and it would look kind of it would kind of crowd the space up here a bit. So the top here is very basic, but the, the front, and obviously there's the checkered um, brown and tan, and in the game it's not exactly tan, it's more of a lighter, or like a lighter brown or something like that, but 
I don't have enough of that lighter brown. Um, so I just use this and it, it's very colorful, which is what I really like. The camera just doesn't do it a jef enough justice, I feel like. Um, but just looking at it on display, having it on the shelf, it looks really nice, especially with chemical plant. And um, I know a lot of people have requested how to build videos for a lot of my mocks. And the reason I'm not going to do them is because I've uh, like stated that they are mocks. They're not really things that I'm going to do how to builds for because that would take quite a while. But I feel like I go into depth quite enough on some of my mocks that people have been able to um, like build some of them on their own or just be inspired to make their own things, is, which is what I'm trying to do here. So I'm kind of giving you ideas if you wanted to build one for your own. Um, but yeah, I just built it for my own personal um, display collection. I guess that's what I do with a lot of my mocks or some of them. Um, I repurpose for other builds and things like that. But um, yeah, this one is very simple. Not as good as Chemical Plant, but I do like the look of it because, again, it's very simple, but yet it's really, it's really nice, colorful. And then um, yeah, that's Green Hill Zone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um, enjoyed the mock that I have for here, you guys here today. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video um, saying that I do need voice actors for my upcoming stop motion series, um, please go check out that video. That's, yeah, um, yeah, please go check that out. Um, and feel free to join my Discord as well because we're a pretty happy community, we are. Um, yeah, so I'll put a link to the Discord down below and the video, uh, my voice actor uh, video as well. So yeah, again, I really want everybody to try and apply, so yeah. Anyway, this was today's Green Hill Zone mock and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any feedback or suggestions, feel, feel free to comment down below. And um, yeah, oh also, also, if you're new here, please subscribe, please leave a like, I would really appreciate it. I love um, hearing all of you guys' feedback and everything, and thank you guys so much for supporting me. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.